question number 19 gives us a picture of a graph. In fact, the name of the graph in this picture is called a parabola. Something I'd like you to know about it is it's definitely not the graph of a linear function because obviously then it would look like a straight line. This is a nonlinear function. This is also sometimes called a quadratic function. The graph of a quadratic function is going to look like this, a parabola. So let's look at the picture. All right, so here we go. Here is the graph that we're talking about in this problem. It's a parabola opening upward, and it, and it does go on forever because that's what the arrows indicate. Now, what you're asked to find in this problem, or what you're asked to state, is the range. One vocabulary item you have to have down. When I talk about the range of a graph, what I'm talking about is the y value. Now, even if you didn't see a picture on this piece of graph paper, the y value on this graph paper, if I said to move along the y-axis, you would be going up and down. All right? So first of all, you need to know that range means the y value. And secondly, to find the y value, you're going to move up and down on a graph. The best way that I find to do that is to start at the, the, the most bottom part of the graph there is, or basically from bottom to top. This particular graph does have a lowest point, and the y value there is what? Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative, it's negative 5. So, negative 5 is the lowest point, and as I move up along the y-axis, this graph moves with me, and notice the graph keeps going forever. So I pick up all real numbers, bigger, 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 uh, in fact, off the piece of graph paper that we can see. So the way that you would write the answer for range in this particular problem is the range of this graph is all y, are, are all y values that are greater than or equal to the number negative 5. The lowest y value here is negative 5, and the graph, as you move up along the y-axis, the graph keeps going with you. So, every real number that's greater than or equal to negative 5 is part of the range of this particular picture. In general, when somebody gives you a picture and they ask you to find its range, what you're doing is you're looking at the graph they're giving you and you're trying to go from bottom to top. 